Hi everyone, welcome to Certified Business Solutions YouTube channel. My name is Lucy Miner. It is yet another season when companies and individuals are working around the clock to beat the deadline with regards to filing the income tax returns for the year 2022. To help you better to help you better understand the process of filing taxes, today we shall explore more on pay as you earn tax. We will explain what is pay as you earn who is obligated to pay and by when, and also what are the penalties for not paying. Stay tuned. How are you, Dr. Ali? Fine, thank you, Lucy. Yeah, you well? Yes, I'm well. How are you? I'm, I'm fine, yeah? You're welcome. So first, uh, you will uh, help us understand or you tell us yes. what is pay as you are. Yes, yes, okay, sure. As you have said, this is the season that uh, every tax consultant is yes. busy. Yeah as we facilitate mm -hmm. and assist yes, yes. individuals and companies yeah. to file their taxes mm -hmm. because the deadline for filing is fast approaching. Yes. For pay as you earn and other income taxes, mm -hmm. the deadline is 30th June yes. of this of 2023 yes, yes. for the income that was generated in 2022. 2022. Yes. So the question is, uh, what is pay as you earn? Mm -hmm. Pay as you earn is a form of tax that is uh, payable by individuals of a certain country, in this case Kenya, yes. from their employment income. Okay. It is payable by 9th of the following month. Okay. So, so for instance, uh, the income that individuals will generate uh, in this month of March yes. will be payable by 9th of, of April. April next month. Yes. Okay, okay. But someone who is employed could yes. be asking a question mm -hmm. that uh, I've been employed for the longest, for yes. one year, for two years, for three years, mm -hmm. but uh, I usually don't uh, file those taxes that uh, you're talking about mm -hmm. that I should file by 9th of every month. Okay, yes. Pay as one yes. is a form of tax that is chargeable and collectable at source. It is the obligation of the employer mm -hmm. to deduct that money mm -hmm. before it hits your account. Obligation of the employer. The obligation of the employer. So the employee does not, at any case, is not mandated uh, to to file for for to pay to file for pay as you earn. It is the mandate of the. It is the mandate of the employer. Emplo employer, not employee. Yes, it is the mandate of the employer. Okay. But yes. the employee is not uh, off the hook completely. Yes. Because here we are just talking about the monthly filing yes. and the monthly payment of pay as you earn. Okay. It is the employer mm -hmm. to do that. Yes. But a time like this, mm -hmm. when now we are approaching a 30th June, yes. the, the employee is now supposed to say, in the entire year of 2022, yes. I was employed in ABCD company, yes. and my salary was 30,000 per month. Mm -hmm. So in that entire year, mm -hmm. I received an income of 360,000, 30,000 times 12. Mm -hmm. But out of this 360,000, yes. I did not receive it. I'm, out of this 360,000, mm -hmm. I'm supposed maybe to pay pay as one of about, uh, let's say, 50,000. Mm -hmm. But you'll say, I will not pay this 50,000 because it was already deducted by my employer. Okay. So, if, so the government should now follow up with my employer. Oh, so you're just declaring that you earned this uh, amount of money? Yes. But uh, your employee, your employer, yes, was the one who was, who was obligated to pay the to pay the to pay the pay as one tax. But you must declare. You must declare because the pay as one yes. is a final tax. Is a final tax. So from the three sixty thousand, yes, assuming you are supposed to pay pay as one of fifty thousand, mm -hmm. and that has already had already been deducted by the employer, yes, you will not pay any other extra cent. Okay. You after now subjecting the. Uh, computing the amount that you are supposed to pay, yes. you say if it is 50,000, automatically that amount had already been deducted mm -hmm. by your employer. Okay, okay, okay. So it is 50,000, mm -hmm. and then you say this 50,000 I, I had already paid, yes. so I'm supposed to pay zero taxes. But okay. it is very important yes. for mm -hmm. an individual to, to declare and yes. to file yeah. pay as you earn returns by 30th of June. Of, okay. the of the following year. If someone doesn't file, yes. there are consequences, and we'll discuss about those consequences. Okay. okay. Yes. And again, uh, there are, I'm, I'm supposing there are also consequences for the employee employers yes. who do not pay for the employees. That's but for sure. The employees they qualify to 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 pay the pay as you want. Yes. 
uh, actually every every employer mm-hmm. every employer should be registered for pay as you an obligation okay you know when you when you apply for a new pin you have you have started a company yes yes, yes. that company comes with only one obligation mm-hmm. the obligation to pay income tax okay that is the corporation tax okay now if this company is dealing with other with services that are available yes. or selling goods that are available mm-hmm. then the employer or this company should apply mm-hmm. for an obligation to charge vat okay now if we proceed further yes. this company has got employees yes including the director himself he is the they are the director is the employee of the company the, the is, a, is an employee of the company yes, yes so yes. even if it is a company of one individual yes it should have and it should be registered for pay as, pay as well. well because there is income ta- coming because there is income there is income to come there is income yes, coming yes yes there is income coming okay okay and if the if the company does not it does not register for pay as you one yes. and it is obligated to register for pay as you one mm. again there are penalties there are penalties there are penalties okay okay uh, all right thank you no you have told us that uh, pay as you earn is paid by by anyone who is employed who is yes, earning yes, income yes 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 but i know there are those people who are who are working yes, yes, yes. but they are given just the retainer fee yes yes or a commission yes, yes are they obligated to pay pay as you earn yes for sure for sure the pay as you earn yes. is any benefit it's called any employment benefit mm-hmm. that an employee enjoys yes is supposed to be subjected to pay as you earn so if if it is salary yes if it is bonus if it is commission mm-hmm. it is if it is payment in lieu of leave yes or even sick pay leave pay anything even gifts if your employer do, uh, decides to give you valentine was uh, I, last month uh, yeah. if your employer decided to give you uh, a gift during the valentine a gift of 20, 20, 20, 30000 yes, yes that that you should that one should be declared yeah. when you are computing the benefits that you have received from your company and it should be subjected to pay as you earn so everything yes that income mm-hmm. even the, the other income income uh, the other benefits that uh, you receive from the company yes. and they should also be subject to pay as well mm-hmm. for instance if your company has provided you with a car yes the, the, the that car mm-hmm. it is assumed if you had if you are if you are using uber yes if you didn't have that car mm-hmm. and uh, you have uh, you have decided to use uber mm-hmm. how much would you be paying for uber on a daily basis let's mm-hmm. say maybe it is 500 yes but now you are not using uber because you have a company car yes so what will be happening mm-hmm. is the government will assume mm-hmm. that the benefits you are receiving from the company yes. in terms of uh, you owning and possess you possessing, possessing that car is 500 car. per day yes, yes. so they say 500 times that days it is 15000 So it is a that one is considered as a benefit mm. that you are enjoying from the company. So if your salary is 70,000, yes. they will add 15,000 the benefit. The benefit it is a it is car benefit. Yes, yes, yes. If you have been housed by your employer. Yeah. They will assume that uh, the if you are you are, you would live in a rental like house if you have you would, you would pay some amount of rent. Yes. Let's say 10,000. Let's say 10,000. So 10,000 is now what is again added to your monthly income yes. before now it is being subjected to pay as you one okay. usually it is supposed to be 15% yes. of your salary for instance uh, the teachers who are supposed to the high school teachers yes. who are employed employed by private uh, schools mm-hmm. and they are housed there mm-hmm. so if that teacher is being paid uh, 30000 yes 15% of that salary mm-hmm. of his salary mm-hmm. is supposed to be to be considered as yes. the rent the housing benefit okay so if he is paid 30000 yes you will add 15% of 30000 which is 4500 mm-hmm. so that this teacher will be subjected to tax uh, to a pay as you earn uh, tax mm-hmm. of of that 4500 okay okay so the tax the the housing benefit yes then we have the 
the car benefit. Uh, uh, car benefit, yes, yes. And any other gift from received from your emplo- employee. And any employer. other gift. And any other gift that you receive from your employer. Okay. Something like uh, your employer mm-hmm. decides to give you a loan, a loan facility. Yes. And it is very common mm-hmm. that employees once in a while yes. they apply for loans from their employer. Mm. Now, if you if you are given a loan of about one hundred thousand, yes, your employer mm-hmm. most more often than not, your employer will not charge you that. They will, they will not charge you interest. interest yeah, interest they for, will for just that ask loan. you to pay the just the, the principal full, amount. The principal, the principal amount. amount. Yes. But now, yeah, if you had gone to the bank mm-hmm. and borrowed that money, yeah. Perhaps uh, the, the, the market rate right now is uh, 15%. Yes, yes. So you would have paid per 15% per annum. Yes. So you would have paid an interest amount of mm-hmm. 15,000 mm-hmm. in one year, mm-hmm. assuming that you decide to repay that loan within, within, an year. within an, one year. Yes. So that 15,000 that the, your employer has the not interest. charged you yes, yes, yes. is considered as a fringe benefit mm-hmm. and should be added in the, the, to the, the to, to the salary. to the benefits that you are you are generating. Okay. So if it is fifteen thousand per annum, mm-hmm. it would be divided by twelve by twelve mm-hmm. months. Mm-hmm. So you would find now maybe it is a one thousand two hundred per per month. Mm-hmm. So if you are earning a, an income of thirty thousand per month, mm-hmm. it, you would be told that there is a fringe benefit of one thousand two hundred. So if you are given a, a house. Again, we add 4,500. Mm-hmm. If you are given a car, mm-hmm. we add that everything. We yes. add. We add and then. Uh, then we subject it to. Pay as you earn. To pay as you earn. All right. And uh, do you think people do that? They they do that. People uh, people are very honest. Including <laughs> In Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you are not honest yourself. I am a very good citizen. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, people do. Yes. And sometimes uh, when they forget to do that. Yes. Or when they, they they don't have this information. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I know some they might not have that that information. Yes. yes. When they don't have information, mm-hmm. it is very fortunate or unfortunate mm-hmm. that uh, ignorance is not defense in law. Mm-hmm. Ignorance is not defense in the law. Yes. So there are penalties for not doing that. Mm-hmm. Okay, 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 okay. And because we, uh, you lawyer, of course, at one point you will get caught. Yes. And and we deal with those those cases because uh, if KRA finds you you are you are not. Uh, adhering to their rules, yes. then mm-hmm. there are penalties that they impose, mm-hmm. there are fines that they impose, their interest, mm-hmm. and then eventually they can even uh, block your account, block your PIN, yes. and even uh, bank accounts. you block your bank accounts. Yeah, yeah. So we deal with those cases. Yes. And uh, actually yesterday I was discussing with a friend, yes. and uh, we were, he was telling me that uh, there's a difference between an auditor and a tax consultant. You know, both of them, they go to the same class. Yes, but uh, once they graduate, mm. one decides to go this way, the other yeah. one decides to go decide this other way. But yes. uh, in terms of uh, uh, theory mm-hmm. and uh, and the qualification, they are mm-hmm. both but they are both qualified the same. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So now it depends with the one one's interest. Yes. So the tax consultant yes. is a person who 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 provides solutions yes. to problems. Yes. So a person just like a doctor, yeah. people come to us, my KRA pin has been blocked, mm-hmm. my uh, bank account has been blocked, mm-hmm. so they are coming with problems. I've been given this penalty, I don't know why. Yes, I've been uh-huh. given this penalty, yeah. I've received this tax assessment, yes, I've yes, been yes. told to, t- to pay 10 million, mm-hmm. they come with a problem, yeah. and now our work is to provide solutions. Yes, yes, yes. We give them guidance yeah. on how they can now find they can how they can how they can resolve that mess. Okay. But now an auditor on the other hand, mm. his main aim is uh, to look for mistakes. Oh the work of okay. an auditor when you have been when when if if, if uh, you've been told to audit a certain company. Yes, or someone sends an auditor to your company. You are, yes, yes. Now yes. the auditor is like a like a CID. <laughs> like an, an investigator, yeah, 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 he's a fault finder, he's looking for those uh, loopholes, yes. Mm-hmm. So, he's a problem finder, okay, okay not okay. a solution giver, giver, okay, okay, okay. But sometimes we have we, we work uh, as both, okay, okay, we, okay, we, we, yeah, do, yeah. we do audit, yes, and we do the tax consulting, all right, all right. Uh, is there any, 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 any group that is exempted from paying a fee as you earn? Yes, the. The government is uh, very considerate yes. that uh, people living with uh, disabilities, mm-hmm. they are exempted from paying pay as you earn mm-hmm. to a tune of 150,000 mm-hmm. 
a month. Per month. Per month. Okay. These are people living with disabilities, mm-hmm. and uh, they 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 are not as competitive as the the rest of the uh, of other people yes. who don't uh, face challenges. Okay. In terms of uh, in terms of uh, even generating this income. Yes. So the government, uh, in a way, to to support them, yes, yes, and some yes. of these people living with disabilities, yes. they are some of them they are on a, on a perennial medication. They yeah. need to keep taking the medicine, yes, so yes, the yes. government to just make their pain less uh, less uh, less manageable. Yes, yes. They do allow them yes. not to pay as yuan mm-hmm. for the first one hundred and fifty thousand okay. generated on a monthly basis. Oh wow! But from there, yes. from but from one fifty thousand, yes. they pay taxes. They pay taxes. Yes. All right, and uh, now for 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 the other citizens. Yes. The pay as yuan is supposed to be paid from uh, twenty five thousand. Yes, it is supposed to be. I, I normally say that uh, pay as yuan yes. is payable to any amount of income that you receive. Any amount of any, income any amount of income, even okay. if you have been paid uh, one thousand per month, mm-hmm. it is still subject to pay as yuan. Mm-hmm. And th- this is a mistake that employers make, mm-hmm. that when they are filing their monthly pay as you earn returns, mm-hmm. they only consider those employees mm-hmm. that uh, have done up, uh, that, that are, who are earning above 24,000. Mm-hmm. But law requires, yes. even if you have an employee that you are paying 1,000, yes. when you are uploading and when you are filing the company pay as you earn returns, yes. you need to declare that. That you're paying this uh, this person uh, one thousand. Yes, one thousand. For okay. for instance, uh, for instance, I've seen uh, many security firms. Yes. And uh, you know, security firms, uh, the, the the employees, yes. the watchmen, mm-hmm. they usually paid uh, perhaps a maximum of fifteen thousand, mm-hmm. depending, of course, uh, with the company that you are working with. Yes. I understand they are they are high end security companies, KK, yes, yes. G4S, and all that. Yes. They pay their empl- employees very well. Yeah. But now. For a company that is paying their employees uh, fifteen thousand, yes, and you have like a uh, hundred, hundred, hundred employees, mm-hmm. it is a security company. Mm-hmm. You find that that security company is only mm-hmm. filing for the directors or the few employees who are who are earning above twenty four thousand. These other hundred watchmen mm-hmm. employees, mm-hmm. because they are being paid less than twenty four thousand, mm-hmm. the company does not include. Include them yes. when filing for the monthly uh, uh, pay as yes, one, yeah, yes, yes. which is a mistake. Mm-hmm. The companies should list all of them, all of them, even if they are earning less than twenty four thousand. Yes, yes, yes. Because when now you are when you are doing the when you are doing the financial statements for the year. Yes. When now you want to find out uh, the profit that the company made, yeah. so that you can subject it to to income tax rate mm-hmm. of that percent, mm-hmm. you will say. I, the company generated uh, an income of 10 million. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yes. And uh, and you say, out of 10 million, I paid salaries of amounting to 5 million. Mm-hmm. But now KRA mm-hmm. cannot see that 5 million you are talking about. Because you are only finding for, for three two people, people or three yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you will have. Uh, a, it will, it will uh, know that uh, there is something go- going on there. Yes, we will have a, a, uh, a huge task, yes. an uphill task. Yes, yes. Trying to convince KRA that I have other employees. That I have the other employees. Okay. Of course, perhaps you pay them through the bank statement, through the bank, and yeah. you can uh, you can do that. You can uh, present those bank statements yes, yes. or even the payroll. Mm-hmm. But it would be very easy yes. that you just upload on a monthly basis yeah. all employees when you are filing okay. for for pay as you are. Oh, okay, okay. So that at the end of the year, yes, yes you say my sales have been ten million, mm-hmm. and uh, the salary is five million. Mm. KRA, don't don't ask it, me a question about that because it can be seen. It is already in your system. Okay. It is already in your system. So for employees, they should file uh, taxes for everyone, including those who who, who are earning below twenty four thousand. Twenty five thousand. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. So the 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 way PS one is computed. Yes. That uh, the first twenty four thousand that you earn mm-hmm. is taxed at a rate of ten percent. Mm-hmm. The first twenty-four thousand. Yes. Okay. So if you are earning two thousand twenty-four thousand, ten percent of twenty-four thousand mm-hmm. is two thousand four hundred. Yes. But again, the tax, the personal relief, mm-hmm. personal relief that is given to a Kenyan yes. is two thousand four hundred. 
Personal, personal oh, relief. That's why they do not uh, pay. That's why they, they do are not given pay. a personal, a personal relief uh, okay, okay. of two thousand four hundred. Yes, yes. So that's why any person who who is supposed to pay pay as one less than two thousand four four hundred mm-hmm. on a monthly basis mm-hmm. is not is is uh, does not does not does pay. not pay anything. Yeah, because the tax relief. Do not pay. Yes, okay. because the tax relief is more. Mm-hmm. Than the tax that you are supposed to pay. Yes. So yes, a person yes. paying being paid an income of twenty thousand has not paid any pay as well, mm-hmm. being paid fifteen thousand like mm-hmm. that, like that. Yeah. So the first twenty four thousand mm-hmm. you pay ten percent. Yeah. The next eight thousand three hundred and thirty three mm-hmm. you pay twenty five percent. Twenty five percent. Yes. The next. No, that is from twenty five thousand and above. Twenty four thousand. Twenty four thousand and above. I don't know why you 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 like twenty five. <laughs> it is twenty five. Uh, uh, maybe okay. that's your age. <laughs> yes, I'm twenty five years old. <laughs> plus, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so twenty four thousand. Yes. Plus eight thousand three hundred and thirty three. Yes. It comes to about that two thousand three hundred and thirty three. Okay. So anything above that two thousand three hundred and thirty three, mm. it is taxed at. That at at that percent. Thirty percent. Okay. At thirty percent. Okay. Anything above. That is that. That two thousand. That two that because you said twenty four. The first twenty four thousand ten percent. The next eight thousand three hundred and thirty three. Twenty five percent. So that two thousand. That two thousand three hundred and thirty three. So anything above there, uh-huh. it is taxed at that percent. Okay. 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 The it's, it's something that I would want to clarify. Yes. That. Uh, Every other year, and yes. it's something that the government should end. Mm-hmm. Every other year, the government comes uh, prepare something called financial act. Mm-hmm. Right now, we are we, we are we are, we 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 are following the financial act for twenty twenty two. Okay. So tax rates are are usually revised on a yearly basis. Okay. Like now, a few years ago, yes, even last year, mm-hmm. the graduating tax scale would say. Ten percent. Mm-hmm. Then the next phase we say fifteen percent. Okay. Then we go twenty percent, twenty percent, twenty five percent until that percent. But, but now, now the one that they revised last year, yes. they they jumped from ten percent to twenty five percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then to thirty percent. Yeah. No, they revise every year. They revise every year. They revise every year. You know the the reason why they did that. Yes. The government is uh, played smart. Yes. Because initially, mm-hmm. the minimum the minimum rent the minimum salary mm-hmm. that was not subject to to, to yeah, pay as one yeah, yeah. was thirteen thousand nine hundred. Mm-hmm. Thirteen thousand nine hundred. So yeah. anyone who any person who was earning more than fourteen thousand mm-hmm. was supposed to pay pay as one. Okay, at that ten percent. At that ten percent, because yes. you, 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 so the relief was a was a one thousand three hundred and nineteen. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. but now they they doubled the relief to two thousand four hundred mm-hmm. during the COVID time. Okay, okay. Mm. So the government realized that uh, we have lost the income from uh, thirteen thousand to twenty four thousand. Mm. See, they have lost mm. because they have increased the personal relief. Yes, 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 yes. That's true. Mm. So now that's now that's what they, they, they said for us now to compensate for this loss to recover to yeah. recover we have to put it at twenty five percent let's put it to twenty five percent let's keep the fifteen percent let's keep the 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 twenty percent yes it goes three to twenty five percent twenty five percent so that we recover okay now the question is yes because it's good I also ask a question because you ask me many questions mm-hmm. so we say. Any amount that is above that two thousand three hundred and thirty-three yeah. is taxed at that percent. Mm-hmm. What would have happened if the government would have continued to say the next phase now will tax uh, not that percent will be that five percent, the next phase forty percent, the next phase fifty percent, the next phase like that? See, they will go even to a point they will say the next phase is a hundred percent, and uh, you find that. Uh, you are working for the government. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. What's yeah, wrong with that? But how will you survive if you're working for the government? You can't work and you give everything to the to the government. You can't survive. But it's something that you earn maybe above five hundred thousand. That everything that you earn above five hundred thousand yes. is what you give to the government hundred percent. You 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 are still getting something for something that you are not that is below five hundred thousand mm-hmm. because you remember it started twenty four thousand. Mm-hmm. The first twenty four thousand it is free. You still yes. have that money. Then the next one you are charged at twenty five percent. Yes. 
So the, 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 the reason for that yeah. is uh, the government also in its, wis in its wisdom yes. understands that uh, if they continue increasing the, the tax the rate, yeah. then it will get to a point that uh, an individual will have no, will have no incentive mm -hmm. to continue working or to continue being productive after a certain point because, because will, yeah. the government will take like everything, everything else. From the, yeah, everything from them. So mm -hmm. if, if they were, were to say that everything above 200,000, yeah. you are being taxed uh, maybe 100% as you have said, mm -hmm. then I would have no interest to add to, get to, to, to 200. To 200. Yeah. I just get yeah. 200, then I say, uh, I'm yeah, okay. I'm okay. Not Don't the government. increase my salary. Yes. Okay. So, so yeah. that, that's why, that's why mm -hmm. it has to, grad, to be graduated. Yeah. But again, at some point, mm -hmm. then it is. It has to, to remain there. Okay, okay. Viewers, I think this topic is, is quite broad. We will take a short break, but we will be back. Stay tuned. <laughs> 